Hey, Mitch, Therese Paler from the KC Star. Congrats, man. Hey, Therese, what's going on? Hey, man. Living the dream, I guess. Uh, hey, for you, <laughs> talk a little bit about, if you can, just, were you, did you expect to go this high, man? I know. Oh, no. No, but you know <laughs> what? I, uh, I'm i feeling really fortunate, man. And it's a cliche answer, but I, I've, it's the most blessed in my life I've ever felt. And, uh, you know, I get to stick close to home, which is the zoo, and, um, you know, the city is just such a great place to be. Uh, my my whole dad's side, my dad was born in Kansas City. My whole dad's side of the family lives in Kansas City. So uh, it's been a, just a, an unbelievable ride, man. Where would you expect to go? <laughs> I had no idea. I had no freaking idea. But, uh, you know, uh, I was fortunate enough to end up in Kansas City. No, but I mean round-wise. You said you were surprised you went this oh. high. Oh man, I uh, you know I was expecting to go sometime today, but uh, um, yeah, it, it's just not. <laughs> this is awesome. What did the uh, Chiefs tell you as far as the position? What what are they expecting out of you in that regard? Oh, uh, they haven't you know they haven't talked to me about that yet. Uh, but uh, listen, I'm just looking forward to being a great teammate and uh, really finding a bond with these new teammates of mine and proving myself as a football player because. You know, although I've been drafted, I, I haven't proven myself to the teammates, and I, I know I have to uh, step up. Do you feel like you play one position on the line better than another? No, I. You know, it's the fortunate thing with me. Uh, I was able to move around a little bit, and uh, I, I, I like just the opportunity to stick at one position or you know wherever I can help out the Kansas City Chiefs. Do you enjoy playing one position more than another? No, man. No, not at all. Uh, one, you know, it really doesn't matter to me. Hey, Mitch, I know you just kind of covered this, but you know, initially they've kind of listed you as a center. It's been a little bit since you've attacked that with the snaps and stuff, man. Just, you know, what's going to be your mindset if you got to move back to that position that you played in 2012? Uh, you know, if I have to move back to that position, it'll be just fine. I, uh, you know, I've, I've accepted the 2012 season. I've learned a lot from it. Um, you know, I had a lot of game time experience at the center if that's where the Kansas City Chiefs need me to play. And, and I feel confident going forward that I, I can be a good asset to the Chiefs if it be, if need be at center. How much com uh, talk did you have with the Chiefs before the draft? Oh, man, uh, I, I talked to him at the Combine. And, uh, you know, I, I get to really hit it off with Coach Reed and um, all the, you know, the general managers and the, and the coaches there. And, um, and so... Uh, not, not, not till tonight, honestly. You said you talked to the Chiefs at the Combine, and I know obviously they haven't mentioned to you now what position you may project at, but during this pre-draft process as you've talked to teams, what, what position have you found that a lot of teams have talked to you about? Um, you know, I, it really depends on the, uh, the team. Most of them have me on the inside three, but a few teams have listed me at tackle. So, uh, you know, probably more the inside what about with the Chiefs at the Combine? Where were they more interested in you there? Man, I was so starstruck at the Combine. I, I was just trying to make a good impression on all the teams. and I, I, I couldn't really tell you, man. I couldn't really remember. Hey, Mitch, in retrospect, man, how, how important do you think your, your performance at the Combine was to kind of get you on people's radar this early? Oh, you know, I, I do believe that it did help, you know, exponentially. Um, it was just a, I was fortunate enough to really put up some good numbers and, you know, really get to my name and some people's boards. And if, if not, if they didn't know about me, maybe they can rewatch my film and see what's going on from there. But, uh, I definitely do believe that the draft helped me, uh, a ton. Hey, Mitch, what, what do you know? I mean, about not the combine, excuse me. Mm -hmm. so go, go ahead, Trish. Go ahead. Hey, when I talked to you at your pro day, you said, you know, you had to thank Justin for helping make, you know, Missouri a place that teams could look for on the offensive line. And now, you know, you actually go higher than him. So I know you guys are buddies, man. Are you going to get a chance to kind of bust the chops a little bit about that? Oh, no, no, no. Not even a little bit. You know, first of all, it's not my cup of tea, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Justin is, you know, he's he's proved himself as an NFL offensive lineman. I might have gotten drafted higher, but I still have a lot to prove to my teammates and to, you know, to Chiefs Nation. So, um, you know, I'm feeling humbled right now. I'm definitely feeling fortunate. And Justin Britt has been an un unbelievable asset. So it's, you know, guys like him and Tim Barnes who have done it before me um, to kind of go forward and uh, just try to be the best football player I can be. Mitch, what, what do you know about what the Chiefs have going on as far as their offensive line? Uh, you know, from what I hear, they made a lot of great trades. 
in the off season and gotten some great football players in the offensive line. Um, you know, I'm not well versed. I'm not as ver- well versed as I should be probably in the Chiefs' offensive line, but it's something I can get uh, get acclimated with. And I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting the guys and uh, trying to build a relationship on and off the football field. You ever make it to Arrowhead for a game uh, when you were I'm, in school? You know, I made it to Arrowhead for a concert. Uh, Kenny Chesney had a concert a few years back. I made it to Arrowhead. What a place, man! I, I mean, I drive by it all the time, uh, whether it be to visit Kansas City or. Uh, my girlfriend lives in o- uh, Omaha, so I drive by it, and it's just, it's a spectacle, man. But and, the, I, you know, the, there's the loudest fans in the nation, the greatest fans in the nation. So it'll be uh, it'll be an unbelievable experience. But the first uh, game you see there, you'll be playing in, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's the same day from Mizzou, man. This is the first game I ever saw in Mizzou was the one I played in. The first uh, game I see as the Chiefs is the one I get to, you know, at least be in the stadium. Mitch, what?